Good morning, this is Matt Sherwood for the Tech and Stuff channel. Um, I am a technology teacher of middle school students and so I'm going to be showing you some basic techniques to uh, clean up a picture, uh, to add some touch-ups and retouches. Now this picture is a picture of a beautiful woman who does not need any work done but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove some minor facial blemishes and uh, to smooth out her skin tones um, on this picture and on a couple others. So there's two techniques I wanted to show you. The first is using the clone stamp and I've done a previous video on the clone stamp if you want to see a more thorough explanation of how to use it go watch uh, the clone stamp for beginners video I made. So what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust the brush width of the clone stamp. I'm going to set it at about 15 you can see the size of that circle. Then I'm going to sample an area. I'm going to make sure I'm on the correct layer. I'm going to sample an area of her skin and then replace it over her her minor blemishes. So notice the anchor. That means I'm pressing the control button on the keyboard. And that's my sample area. So I'm going to sample, let go of the control button, and then I'm going to start drawing over her blemishes. I usually pick something close by so that it looks similar. Okay, let's try this again. Sample here, and then I'm going to use that skin to replace that other. Okay, sample. Every time I sample, I, I press the control button on the keyboard, and then I let go so I can sample it somewhere else. And so you do it over. And just tr Sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error. Now, you can see the major blemishes were adjusted and sampled. Now, what I'm going to also do is run a special effect here that will further smooth it out. So I'm going to click on Effects, come down to the Blurs, and I'm looking for a very simple blur called a Surface Blur. Now what you'll see is that it'll it'll kind of give her skin a very smooth patina to it and it does it's not a blur that makes it hard to actually see the picture. So you can see the the effect is actually can be pretty dramatic and amazing. Now your your ideal setting would probably be where you can't tell that it's an effect. So I'm going to turn it down a tad. But once I've applied it, you can see that it's very smooth and looks very nice. And here's another picture of a woman's face that I'm going to do touch-ups on. Again, beautiful woman, doesn't need any touch-ups. But just to learn how to do it, I'm going to use the same two techniques. First, the clone snap. Got to sample an area, and I'm going to just address the small blemish here. Sample with the control button pressed, let go, and gone. And that's probably all I would even consider doing with the clone stamp. Next go to the effects and we are looking for the surface blur. And you can see how that affects the picture from a normal human to something like a perfect elf. There we go. And I'll save that. You can see the difference it makes. Okay, next I'm going to go to the next picture, select that layer, and check this. And so we have some guy who's trying to show off his muscles. I'm going to just use the blur surface blur effect on this and you'll notice what the effect it has on the skin when I just adjust the radius and then the threshold you can see uh, it almost looks rubber it's so perfect so maybe that's too perfect let's move down and it takes does take out some of the texture for sure so there we have uh, you 
can still see some texture in the light and then it smooths out everything else. I'm going to click OK. So that's two ways to remove blemishes and to touch up using paint.net. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.